This is a device called Chargey. It works in conjunction with an app to provide a software and hardware battery charging limiter. But why would you need this? Let's dive in a little bit. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Thanks for everybody that subscribed recently. I'm almost up to a thousand. It's not much, but I like it. Hey, look at us. Look at us, huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Anyways, let's get into the video. Smartphone batteries kind of suck. That may sound a little harsh, but it's not entirely their fault. First, let's talk about how modern batteries work, like the battery in your phone. Smartphones use lithium ion batteries. Now I'm sure you've heard of these and their operation is not too complicated. Each cell is made up of a positive electrode, a negative electrode, and a chemical electrolyte sandwiched in between them. So when you plug it into your charger, lithium ions move from the positive electrode through the electrolyte to the negative electrode and are stored as energy. When you start using your phone, this process is reversed and the ions move back across the electrolyte and produce the energy you need to power the phone. So it's not too complicated, right? Well, there are a few downsides to this charge-discharge cycle that your phone goes through. Charges are typically measured in cycles, with each cycle counted as a 0 to 100% charge. So for example, if you charge your phone to 50% one day, use it until it reaches 0, and then charge it back up to 50%, that's one complete cycle. It doesn't count as a cycle each time you plug your phone in. One major downside to these cycles is battery degradation, as I'm sure you've experienced before. Like when your iPhone 6 needs to be charged several times a day and the battery dies faster each time. This is because each time you charge your phone, the chemical reaction I described earlier causes layers of lithium to attach the electrodes, which reduces the amount available to complete this charge-discharge cycle and you lose battery capacity. Well, this kind of sucks because phone makers did away with swappable batteries a long time ago and your only options when your battery is depleted are to go get it serviced or buy a new phone, both of which can be expensive. For an example, Apple says their goal is to retain 80% of your original battery capacity after two years or around 500 complete cycles. Now 500 cycles seems like a lot, but if you're constantly using and recharging each day, it's gonna wear down much faster than you realize. So what can you do to extend your battery life and keep your phone working longer? I, I don't know specifically, I, I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't know exactly, I just don't know. Stop me if you've heard this before, phone batteries are happiest with a charge between 20 and 80%. This is actually true, and the reason is that the chemical reaction happening inside that battery has to work much harder above 80% charged and in the last 20% of discharge. Now electric vehicles like Tesla's actually plan for this to extend battery life by building in a buffer within these tolerances and physically stop you from being able to charge above a certain percentage by making the full capacity unaccessible. Now cars can do this because their batteries are massive and they have the space, but phones don't have that luxury as phones are very limited on space. Now some smartphone makers try and help the situation. Apple has a feature called optimized battery charging which attempts to learn your charging habits and stop charging at 80% when it thinks your phone will be on the charger for a long time, like say overnight. This is better than nothing, but in my experience, it's a bit hit or miss. When you don't have a strict schedule like I do, it just seems to charge up to 100% every time. Sony and recently OnePlus are the only phone manufacturers that I know of that actually built in a charging limiter in the phone where you can stop it at 80%. So that's where the Chargy comes in. This thing plugs in between your charger and your device, enabling it to physically stop the charge when it reaches your desired charge level, which can be anything. The device has USB-C connections on each side and lights up to show you it's powered on and working. The app works on Android and iOS and it's actually received a few updates since I started using it. So how it works is the Chargey connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you can set your desired charge limit from 1 to 100%. There's a lot of other information provided while using the app like the phone temperature and total power draw and a whole lot of stuff. You can also set a charging scheduler to set the phone to start charging at a specific time each day of the week. Say a couple hours before you wake up and you can leave it plugged in all night without the wear and tear on your battery. You can use it with a wireless charger as well, and although I had some connection issues when I first started using it, it works every time now after a few software updates. I keep mine set at 80% charge and drop it down to my wireless charger and usually forget about it for a while. And check this out, charging from about 20% to 80% only uses about 0.25 battery cycles, so you could do that four times and have the same wear and tear in your battery as a 0 to 100% charge. And it seems to be working great. I've had this iPhone 13 Pro since launch and battery health is still at 100%. And since I only use about 0.25 cycles with each charge, it should maintain a strong battery health for a long time going forward. Now, you might not care about this, but I just thought it was pretty interesting, so I wanted to share it. Anyways, that's about all I've got for today. I appreciate you watching, and if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Until next time.